Hi everyone, I'm Celestiamo, and when I travel, I like to look for those now or never experiences. I'm talking about those moments that really help to get me out of my comfort zone and also help to keep me away from the norm. For example, if you're visiting the LA area like I am today, you might want to go for a hike up to the Hollywood sign or maybe even take a stroll along the Hollywood Walk of Fame, or you could come to this big ugly drain pipe. Okay, so this pipe isn't the end of our story, it's actually just the beginning. It marks the start of a hike down to an old shipwreck. I'm really excited to go check it out. What do you say we go see what's going on down there? The hike is a one mile walk on extremely rocky terrain. And if you take a very close look, you might be able to spot the wreck at the end of the trail. Let's talk a little bit about how this ship became part of the California coastline, shall we? The ship we're about to see is called the SS Dominator. In World War II, it was a freight ship until after the war when it was sold for commercial use. It went along its business until March 13, 1961, when it hit really harsh seas, very bad winds, and it ran itself aground. The crew and the Coast Guard tried for two whole days to free it, but Mother Nature had other plans, and they were forced to abandon it, leaving it exactly where it was, and exactly where we are headed to right now. As you get closer to the wreck, you'll start to notice bits and pieces of the ship scattered around. Some will be quite small, while others might actually catch you off guard a bit. This funky little guy right behind me might seem a little bit out of place, but it's actually a crane left over from the SS Dominator. My personal guess is that this guy was responsible for carrying all of the cargo on and off the ship while it was still in use. The crane isn't the only huge piece to see though. Make sure you walk around and explore the massive remains of the hull of the ship too. This part kind of looks like a fish, if you use your imagination a bit that is. Well guys, it is starting to get hot out here, which means it's probably time to head back to the start of the trail. I have had so much fun taking you along on this journey with me, but remember, you can always find your own Now and Ever moments or destinations anywhere. Make sure you head to the blog nowandevergirls.com for even more info on this amazing hike, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye! Liked our video? Then you'll love our blog. Check us out at nowandevergirls.com.